All right. We are here at Sanctuary. Um, I just wanted to show, do a quick tour, walk around of one of the houses I got finished remodeling. Uh, you have to excuse me a little bit. I got a little bit of a head cold. So it makes some, if I make some funny noises, I'm sorry. This one I kind of used a little bit of everything to kind of patch the holes and fill everything up. Or fill the holes in, I mean, excuse me. Lately what I've been doing is using the wire fencing on the windows, but this one they used that shack wall. Um, this one, as it, I put the barn roof on it with the upper shack floor underneath. And if I remember right, the one of the things that was um, kind of crappy about this house is the fact that it was kind of an odd length. So I either had to make the roof short or make it long. Here's the inside. Um, started playing around with doors and realized that you can rug glitch doors just like any other wall or anything else. So I've kind of been playing around and making my own cabinets and whatnot. Door doesn't necessarily need a doorway to function. A little kitchen set up here. Now I kind of changed the layout of this house a little bit. I made it a two bedroom in, or a two bathroom instead of one. Closed off that one doorway that's supposed to be there. Converted this like laundry room thing to a bathroom. I like using the started using the balcony railings more for patching walls. Looks more like just a sheet of plywood up there. Somebody's been in here knocking my stuff around. As you can see in this house, all the all the doorways, I just glitched the door in. Didn't actually use any sort of doorway. Part of that was because the ceiling was too low to be able to glitch a wall in anywhere in the house. So I ended up just coming up with the idea of using the balcony railings after playing around with some stuff to patch the walls and then the doors still were able to glitch in and work fine, so good enough for me. Well, that's that. The quick little walk around here. Hope you enjoyed.